Zaknaki. I'm an assistant professor at the IT University of Copenhagen in Denmark, and I will present my pictorial titled The Breathing Wings, an autobiographical soma design exploration of touch qualities through shape change materials. This pictorial presents an autobiographical exploration grounded on soma design methods. It offers a detailed account of opening the space of designing with shape change actuation mm -hmm. through a some aesthetic approach to exploring touch experiential qualities on the area of the upper back and shoulder blades. This is a somewhat neglected area on our bodies, not as familiar as others that we can easily see or touch. Thus, I wanted to raise awareness and put attention to this body part while building on previous research on investigating boundaries and entanglements between materials, body and technologies. This process resulted in the breathing wings wearable, wrapped around the front and back of the torso, offering a dynamic embracing experience, experience created through soft shape changing technology. The SOMA design method lasted for one year and was grounded on my first person experiences, articulations and reflections. By attuning to their SOMA, a designer can materially engage with how their body dynamically participates, participates in interactions as a lively mess of mechanisms that are social, political, biological and that can be designed with. Autobiographical approaches are common in SOMA design methods, since the designer's SOMA and their first-person reflections are used as a guide to judge, validate and iterate throughout the process, with the ultimate goal to design for others. Several steps and creative methods were used in this project, as I will soon present in detail. The initial point of departure was to find ways of connecting to the area of the upper back and shoulder blades, aiming to sensitize it by zooming into and becoming attentive to it. I invited a close colleague to trace the outline of my shoulder blades on a thin paper that she placed on top of them. Through the felt experience of the thick pen touching my back while she was tracing the outline of my shoulder blades, I could feel their shape and imagine their size. Then I transferred the outline of my shoulder blades on a blouse I wore, recorded different movements I performed, and viewed this material, combining first-person experiences and an outside view of my body. I slowly started to become more attentive to the three-dimensional shape and form of my upper back, as I could almost see my bones protruding and feel how the shoulder blades expand to my arms. Moving from becoming sensitized to the area of the back and from gaining a deeper understanding of its anatomy, I seek to identify what particular touch experiences would be evocative to design for. I use the wings as a metaphor and guidance for identifying the experiential qualities of interaction I was after. I made and wore a pair of custom-made wings aiming to reflect on the somatic experiences evoked through having this unusual material object attached to my back. This defamiliarizing process helped me to identify the design qualities that should be put into focus. I documented my autobiographical reflections through sketches, diary notes and short written stories. I used Xerox art to document in a visual form the experiential qualities identified, which helped me to stay with these qualities while creating an effective connection between body and qualities. The quality of being embraced embraced, emerged through feeling the wings, wings touching my back, expanding from the middle to the outer area of the shoulder blades. Aiming for an embracing experience through shape change could arise through the shape and size of the materials and the degree of pressure applied against the skin. Being taken care of refers to the experience of slowly building trust through touch. This quality was deemed rather abstract and subjective, but was there to remind me of aiming for, to design for trust and intimacy resonating from my experiences. Finally, when touch was applied to smaller areas on the back, the pressure and warmth contributed to an evocative touch experience of holding a bone or a muscle. The design process moved to exploring how to evoke such qualities through shape change materials on the shoulder blades. Initially, I made a pair of rather flat and big inflatable shapes with latex to explore further the qualities of being embraced and being taken care of. 
These shape change materials can be manually inflated and deflated with an Arduino pneumatics microcontroller connected to air pumps through an application developed on a mobile phone. Here is a first person vignette from my diary notes. I felt their subtle inflation and deflation almost as a stroke against my skin. An immediate reflection was that a slower inflation and deflation felt much nicer than a quick one, contributing to a soothing sensation. A slow but steady inflation until both shapes were fully inflated, followed by a slow and steady deflation until both shapes were fully deflated, contributed to an increased awareness of my shoulder blade's shape and structure. I felt a strong presence of the muscles and bones located on this area of my body, like being embraced by these big shapes. Even though not intended, I also felt like being held by these materials and the pressure felt against my back. Parallel to experiencing touch through shape change latex materials, I started developing different versions of the wearable. The main form of the wearable resembles a vest, but which has to be strapped on the body slowly by tying, by tying two long pieces of textile around the waist and knotting them together in the end. I designed the experience of wearing it almost like a ritual and I imagined that it would take some time to wear the breathing wings as a way of being initiated to the touch experience it offers. Version 1 has pockets for two large shape change materials and evoke, evokes experiences of being held and being taken care of through touch. The wearer starts by inflating both shapes simultaneously to create an embracing experience evoked through the actuation, slightly squeezing the skin. Then each shape should be inflated and deflated slowly, resembling a breathing pattern. Version 2 has, four, has also four small latex shapes, two for the left and two for the right side of the back, and evokes experiences of being embraced through touch. The wearer starts by slowly inflating the bigger shape simultaneously, followed by pausing the inflation while starting inflatedly, inflating firstly the two smaller shapes on the left shoulder blade and then the two smaller shapes on the right shoulder blade. This is followed by a similar deflation pattern. Poetry and storytelling were used throughout the design process as speculative approaches for reflecting on the encounter between body and wearable, arising through my experiences of wearing and interacting with it, but going beyond those to imagine how it would be part of my everyday life. I also used speculative collages and sketches to imagine the breathing wings on other bodies. Here is a poem included in my pictorial. It is a kind of ritual. It is an intimate and sacred space for me where I can enter to hide, to be, to exist. This memory of my wings, the body, this remembers, the tired shoulder blades forgotten. And then I long to wear my breathing wings. They can help me remember. They can help me re-experience a touch, a stroke, a push, my lost wings. Reflecting on the design process and the experience the wearable evokes, two themes were identified. Experiencing caring and creepy feelings of aliveness and evoking affective engagements with the other material body that breathes. Through the embracing qualities of the wearable wrapped around my body and through the breathing of the shape change materials, I started caring about this non-human soft body attached to mine. I also felt comforted by it, wrapped around me and gently touching my back giving me almost like a soothing massage on my tired shoulder blades. Additionally, when experiencing the breathing wings, the movement, flesh, breathing materials, uh, breathing materials and breathing body created an entangled new body as a combination of multiple actants collaborating and cooperating together. The material vibrancy of this other material body is highlighted through the latex materials, having both visual and tactile organic qualities and through their perform act of breathing when inflating and deflating. To sum up, the contribution of this pictorial is twofold. On the one hand, it offers an articulation of how the space of designing the shape change actuation was opened through an autobiographical somasthetic approach to materials and felt somatic experiences. It shows a path that other researchers can follow when designing with bodies aiming to serve as novel somatic experiences of smart materials. The second contribution is the presentation of the breathing wings wearable that examines the shared agency between wearer and wearable. The wearable, in combination with the shape change actuation, imposes its own alien rhythm of pneumatic inflating-deflating breathing. 
In this way, it creates a strange sense of independent machinic agency that blurs boundaries between the human and the other material bodies surrounding the wearer. Thank you for listening. Please, please read the pictorial and I'm looking forward to your comments, feedback and questions.